What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with a first look at a reprint of an Omni that a lot of people, a lot of people have been waiting for. Uh, we are looking at Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 1 reprint. Volume 2 comes out in January, uh, or it's still scheduled to be in January. But, you, you know, if you've been missing on it, I know these ones were going for a lot, especially when we were doing the, um, the whatnot, you know, where they were out of print. Uh, luckily, they're coming back. They're back, or they're back now. So if you've been waiting for that, this is uh, the best time to get it. Uh, I know from, I think Daredevil is probably the only one whose run, regardless of the writer, is always, always, always highly regarded. For either Frank Miller's run, uh, this one, or, uh, you know, really any other ones. Well, what about, what about, um, what's his name, Smith? Uh, you know, the actor? I don't know. Did, uh, some people didn't like that story. But it's cool to see uh, the... The uh, reprint of this one come out with a new cover as well. So let me show this to you. This is the standard. Here's the front. Spine. And the back. And then we got the DM. Here's the front. Spine. And back. Very cool. This one's wrapped because I got to, you know, send it out to somebody because, you know, people have been ordering these. Uh, but, you know, my cover for this one... Of the Omni has to be the standard one. Listen, let me just show you both of the spines together so that way you can see what it looks like. But this standard cover is so cool. Uh, I'm going to definitely zoom in so you can see it. So basically it has their double and then like the words or whatever the sound that this object makes, like the bird, it says flap, flap, flap because he's flapping his wings. And so it's basically the figure of the bird is made out of the letters uh, written with flap. So the whole back uh background cityscape is all like sounds that you would hear uh i thought that was ingenious i thought this was so cool obviously since you know uh, he's deaf he would it would be like pew, bing, bing, bing. matt murdoch would listen to just like noises of it so it's really cool seeing that i thought this was really cool personally this is my go-to cover for it the dm is cool as well it's, it's really nice but this one is just i love that aspect uh, you know i'm just Design-wise, I think this is great. And it, it, he pops out more, you know? The red Daredevil logo and then him being red, it pops out really well. The cover looks really good. Um, plus, I really like the spine on, on that one. Like, from the both from both of them, they're both nice. But this one with him, like, in the shadows, oh, so cool. All right, so let me show you underneath this one. Under the dust jacket, the spread. Again, very much like that echolocation waves around him from what he's like, you know, sensing. Super, super cool, I really like that. Um, so the design on this one and the, the standard are, are uh, amazing. I, I think they knocked it out of the park with it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside the book to see what's included. Let's uh, see what's in this book because, you know, Matt Murdock can. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daredevil. Don't be mad at me. Uh, here is a table of content what's included, so you can see that as well. I know I included it on the you know, description, but I'm just showing you here. Very cool. And, you know, paper thinness is omni-quality. Uh, Semi-gloss colors look great. I like the pink that they, poked, they picked for his, uh, what do you call it? for his um, uh, echolocation. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Okay. Now let me tell you a little bit more about this. A Daredevil series like no other. 
Mark Wade, Mark Wade rips, rips up the rule book to deliver a frantic, fun, and fearless depiction of a hero reborn. After years in the shadow, Daredevil is stepping into the light and visiting his unique brand of blind justice on foes including Claw, Stiltman, Mole Man, and Doctor Doom. Sized, changing scientist Hank Pym gets to know Matt the hard way. Spider-Man and Punisher join the race for the Omega Drive, and a de decidedly different wall crawler demonstrates his superiority. And all the while, Matt Murdock shows off his new grinning-in-the-face-of-hell attitude. But as ghosts from his past haunt him and the life of death drama unfolds, will he be dragged back into the dark? Astounding artists including Paolo Rivera, Paolo Rivera, Marcos Martin, and Mike Allred set the tone with a, vi a new visual language for Daredevil before Chris Sammy climbs on the board climbs on board for the beginning of one of the 21st century's greatest comic book collaborations. It's the start of something special, a multiple Eisner Award-winning classic. Very cool. Um, and let's see a little bit more about the actual writer, which is, uh, I like that they included this in the, uh, the French flaps. A uh, few comic characters have had their adventures chronicled by such an astonishing array of writers as The Man Without Fear. From a swashbuckling introduction by none other, none other than Stan Lee, to classic tales from the typewriter of Roy Thomas, to Dee Dee's dramatic 1980s reinvention by Frank Miller that set the tone of Daredevil for years to come. Kevin, Mitt, Kevin Smith's 1998 revitalization of the title was followed by a long reputation raising run by the promising crime writer named Brian Michael Bendis, culminating in the sensational handoff that put Matt behind bars and granted Ed Grubaker the opportunity to craft his own unforgettable tale. With other talented uh, other talents like Denny O'Neill and Anne N N Nocenti having left their own incredible, indebitable mark on Daredevil, any incoming scribe could be forgiven for struggling to fill the giant footsteps of those who came before. But not every writer is Mark Wade. Wade instantly injects a sense of fun and adventures back into Daredevil and returns a smile to Matt's face as our hero saves a bride and steals a kiss and an incredible array of collaborators, beginning with Paolo Rivera and Marcos Martin and culminating with Chris Samney, who would make the title his own, confound expectations, depicting hornheads, horn aerial acrobatics, and uncanny radar sense with fresh flair and invention. Meanwhile, Javier Rodriguez brings Hell's Kitchen alive with color. Speaking of colorful, that's one way to describe the foes determined to make Matt's life miserable all over again, including Claw, Master of Sound, Mole Man, Bruiser, The Spot. Okay, he's black and white, but you get the idea. And Captain America. Other costume adventurers are more friendly, such as Spider-Man and the Black Cat. Particularly the Black Cat. But when Dee Dee gets his uh, hands on the Omega Drive and becomes the most dangerous man alive, every mega crime organization there is puts a target on his back. Good thing Spidey's in his corner. Maybe less so Punisher. Other heroes will have to pitch in when Daredevil suffers at the hand of none other than Doctor Doom but an even more brutal beating lies in wait from a terrifying new threat. As torment pile up, uh, piles as torment piles upon torment in a costumed identity, his luck career undergoes some enforced changes and his personal life takes a pounding. How long can Matt's new philosophy survive? Is he really a changed man or is he faking it? And if it's the latter, can he keep it up long enough to make it? Get on board with one of the most acclaimed superhero sagas of the modern era and discover exactly why Daredevil won the Eisner Award for Best Writer, Best Continuing Series, and Best Single Issue, number 7, in, 20, in, in 2012, and Best Artist, Chris Simney, joint winner, in 2013. Very cool. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Daredevil is, is, is a character that his runs have been nothing but uh, spectacular. Like I said, Frank Miller, Mark Wades, Kevin Smith, that's who I was thinking about. Kevin Smith. Oh! Um, you know, Ed Brubaker, Michael, Brian Michael Bendis. It's, it's been a ton of really good stories. And, and uh, you know, Mark Wade is, I think, from what I've heard, he's probably one of the better ones. Um, again, they're all good, so saying that is, is pretty impressive. Uh, let me know if you like it, where do you rate it? Uh, compared to all the other runs that have been uh, done for a Daredevil. And let's see, look here, some extras. Looks like... Okay, the process, very cool. The covers, nice. That one's very cool, I like that. Ooh, nice. Libra Mejo does very good, like, uh, realistic drawings. Not to, not to uh, you know... 
Alex Ross standard, but very good. This one's really nice. Like, look how the, the mask shows there on his neck. Very nice. Like, the fabric looks like fabric. It's not just, like, the shape of the body. No, it's, like, it looks realistically like fabric. Very nice. This one's real nice. I like that. Ooh. Adam Huber does really good as well. Nice. This process of the black and white, the pencil, and then, you know, you see that. Interesting. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. And then, of course, I like this that shows, like, his, his blood veins and then, or, like, his veins of his body. And, uh, like, it even goes to the horns, even though he really doesn't have horns. It's the same thing that's on the back of the dust jacket. Let me show you that. And that, I think that itself could have been made into uh, the dust jacket, or the, the cover, and it would have been amazing. Uh, but there you go, guys. So that is uh, Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 1. Uh, if you've been wanting to get it, get it now. They're going to press books. Let me know what you think about it. And I will see you in the next one.